economists and analysts widely praised July's employment situation from the Bureau of Labor Statistics released Friday. And high mortgage delinquency rates in the New York region, metro areas, continue to bog down the New York Federal Reserve Bank in the second quarter. Ahead on Monday's News Wrap. Economists and analysts widely praised the July employment situation from the Bureau of Labor Statistics released Friday, not just for the headline number, but also for the majority of the data contained within. Payrolls added 255,000 jobs in July, which beat MarketWatch's forecasted number of 185,000 by 70,000. It was not at all the job gains, however. July's employment summary also contained strong wage growth, an increase of $0.08 cents up from $25.69 per hour and an over-the-year increase of 2.6%, and the unemployment rate stayed at 5% at 4.9%. High mortgage delinquency rates and the high mortgages in the New York region's metro areas continue to bog down the New York Federal Reserve Bank in the second quarter. Coupled with other households and credit card debts, the overall picture for the New York Fed's region is one of consumers having trouble managing their debts. New York Fed's regional household debt and credit snapshots report which examined borrowings and indebtedness trends throughout the New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut regions, showed consumer distress rates between 14 and 15 percent. These are below the national rate of 19.6 percent, but the good news was offset by state-level mortgage delinquency rates that were above the national average. You can check out all of these stories and the latest happenings right here on our site. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again on Tuesday. Until then, stay with dsnews.com for all of your most relevant default servicing news.